Hey guys, so today in this video, I'm gonna be drawing Matt Stafford from the Los Angeles Rams. And of course, Matt Stafford was uh, trading the off season to the Rams. He was in uh, Detroit playing for the Lions for about 10 years or so. And, uh, you know, had some success considering the Lions made the playoffs a few times, a couple of times, but uh, could never get over the hump. And of course, you know, the, the Lions is one of the worst franchises in the NFL. So, I mean, they only have one playoff win since the Super Bowl era, so that says enough about that. Um, but here he is in the Rams now, and you know, he's been an MVP candidate. Not really gonna win it, um, but but definitely he's up there and had a real good season, and even won his first playoff game of his career against the Cardinals uh, just the other day. So I figured in honor of that, I'd draw him in uh, the Rams uniforms. Of course, the Rams switched up their uniforms. Uh, I think last year was the first year they, they were in these new uniforms. And personally, I am not a fan of these uniforms. I think they're kind of cheesy. I mean, I like the colors, the, the bright blue and the yellow. I think those work really well. But, you know, the helmet, the uh, the helmet with the, the line going through the Rams horn, and it's on their shoulder pad too. I do not like that. Uh, the way their numbers are, especially don't like, there's this weird texture on it. Um, and the gradient on the numbers, I definitely don't like that. So definitely not a fan of these uniforms. Uh, I think they have potential, but ultimately kind of messed it up. And by the way, if you're interested in getting a um, like a t-shirt with this image on it, or like a cell phone case, or a mug, or any other accessories, uh, definitely check out the link in the description below. Products like this is how I support this channel, so definitely it's a big help and uh, affords me the time to be able to work on drawings like this, make more drawings in the future. So I appreciate that. And as you can see here, I am putting the, the colors on and uh, I'm gonna do this drawing in cell shading style again, like I've been doing lately. And I really like the cell shading style. I've always been a big fan of it. And um, I kinda like the simplicity of it and how clean it is. And as you can see, I'm putting down all the flat colors first, you know, the, the lightest blue and the yellow, the skin tone. Um, just putting all those down, sort of get a flat base over all the areas. And um, cell shading, of course, it's where there's no gradients. Um, you basically just have harsh lines from one, uh, from the base color to the shadow. So, but I think it's, it's kind of cool. It creates an interesting effect. And like I said, I've always enjoyed the way that it looks. Um, so as you can see here, I'll put in the next layer and just being real careful to uh, to put it down wherever I think that uh, the highlight should be, leaving the area for the highlight available. And definitely with these markers, you have to be kind of careful because uh, once you go dark, you can't go lighter. So you kind of have to plan out what you're doing in your head and kind of take your time and, as you go and, and be very careful. Because like I said, once you put it down, you know, there's no undo button. Uh, it's like on the computer. So you're stuck with what you've got. And you know, if you make a mistake, you might have to tweak it and figure out a way to make it work. But um, yeah, I definitely like the cell shading style. And like I said, you know, even though I'm not a big fan of these uniforms, I do like the color scheme. So I kind of, I enjoy how this drawing uh, turned out. You know, definitely leave a comment below uh, if you like the way this drawing turned out, what your thoughts are. And if there's another uh, NFL player that you'd like to see me draw, leave a note in the comments. Um, definitely interested in drawing people who are playing in the playoffs these days. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video.